What's up guys, Alex, Bodybuilding 2K. Today I'm gonna to take you through a full day of eating. 3,700 calories coming up, so come check it out. Let's waste no time. A really important part of your breakfast is having a high quality protein source to kickstart protein synthesis throughout the day. So I like to use something simple and easy that's also quality, so I like to get a packet of tuna. I have the white albacore tuna, so there's about 6.5 ounces of tuna in here, 40 grams of protein, it's very high quality. This is nice and easy, I can just tear open the package, throw it in a bowl, slam it down with some water, and boom, I have my protein. Another protein that I incorporate in my breakfast is whole eggs. Very good quality protein, it's a complete source, and I just think it's tasty to eat in the morning, so I enjoy eating this. For carbs, I've been using Bob's Red Mill Steel Cut Oats. Um, these I prefer way more over the regular oats you might find. Regular oats are kind of like mushy and I just not really feeling the taste of them. These on the other hand, they kind of have a nice bite to them, a little bit of crunch and just heartier in general. So I just prefer the taste by far over regular oats. So Bob's Red Mill Steel Cut and I like to mix in some red raspberry preserves. Um, just adds sweetness and it's also adding another carbohydrate into the mix with a higher glycemic index. You know, we have a nice slow release carb from the oats and, and here you might want to get a fast release of carbs as well. Get a nice mixture because first thing in the morning you're trying to break that fast and you know, restore your glycogen stores. So I like this combo and I'm going to mix in some cinnamon and Splenda with it too. We're at meal two, and what I have most days for meal two is eight ounces of ground turkey. This is a really good protein, easily digested, and it's pretty cheap to buy, actually. I love the one pound containers because you can literally just take half of the amount that's in there, and that's eight ounces of ground turkey for you. So I have eight ounces of it with my meal, along with a half cup of dried, weighed white rice. And what I like to do is literally just put the half cup of rice in a bowl and put in uh, one cup of water and you literally just throw the bowl in the microwave for 10 minutes and you have some perfectly cooked rice. Easy as that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Meal two, guys. Meal two about to go down the hatch. So it's a little different than meal two. Instead of the ground turkey, I'm actually gonna do ground beef. It's always good to get like an assortment of different amino acid profiles. So if you can change up your protein sources every meal, that's definitely ideal for muscle gains. 
So going with the organic 85 lean beef. And what I actually do is when there's, you know, a good amount of fat in beef like this, I like to drain it once I'm done cooking it initially. And I'll throw it back on the stove. And what I'll do is throw in some chopped onions in there with it, let it cook up. And then when it's done, I'm gonna throw in some chopped up pickles and a little bit of ketchup, mustard, and Worcestershire sauce. And it kind of tastes like a hamburger when I'm eating it. And I'm gonna eat this with a half cup of dry weighed white rice. So a really good meal. I definitely enjoy it and recommend you try it if you're a fan of burgers in general because that's kind of what it tastes like. So let's get to it. All right, meal three. Probably one of my favorite meals of the day. actually have another half cup of dried weighed white rice and what I want to have that with is some whiting fish which I actually get at my grocery store only six bucks for a big pack of this and it's wild caught which is critical because you don't want to get farm raised fish it's been swimming around its own crap all day so you want to get wild caught fish and to get it for six bucks for a big bag is just a deal you have to go for so I do this you can just throw it in the oven for like 10 minutes and I have a big container of it that I use, you know, lasts me at least like three or four days. And it just makes it real easy for myself. I can just weigh it out on my scale. So what I'm going to do is, is eight ounces of this alongside with the white rice. And I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in my white rice um, just to help slow down digestion. So I can keep processing these nutrients as I work out. So that's going to be my pre-workout meal for leg night at Attilus tonight. Guys, meal four, pre-workout meal. This is what's gonna push me through legs tonight. got home from the gym guys and I'm about to have my post-workout meal I usually wait till I get home a lot of people believe like you have to have a shake as soon as you walk out the gym essentially but I don't believe that um, I like to wait when I get home and especially because my hunger is definitely increased by the time I get home so I like to kind of just sit down and enjoy my meal and I feel like it really digests better when you know I'm hungrier so uh, that's why I like to do that it's only like a half hour wait right here I have 90 grams of cream of rice so you know Uncle Ben's cream of rice nice gentleman on the front cover so I like to mix 90 grams of this with uh, two scoops of whey isolate so it makes a really tasty kind of like it almost tastes like hot chocolate, believe it or not. So I'll stir the, uh, the whey in there and enjoy this for my post-workout meal. Mmm, that looks so good. It's going down real quick.
finally made it to meal six and for meal six I'd like to give myself a treat my idea of protein ice cream so what I do is I put two cups of light and fit vanilla Greek yogurt into this container and these are amazing by the way they taste very sweet and they have 12 grams of protein this little cup so I have 24 grams of protein in there and I mix in two tablespoons of almond butter and this is like the finely ground up almond butter so it blends in there really well it gives it a nice vanilla almondy nutty taste so it's so delicious I highly recommend it actually I pulled this from my freezer because I like to freeze it for a couple hours so it gets nice and creamy and cold almost like a frozen yogurt. So I have that with one scoop of Synthesis. Six. Synthesis Six is a very delicious protein and it actually has 10 grams of essential amino acids in it. And a blend of proteins has your isolate, concentrate, and even casein protein, which is good to have before bed. It's 12.30, I'm tired. I just want to eat this, so thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of this. Remember, I eat like this every day. So if you want to get the gains, you have to do what I did in this video every day, without question. And actually the hardest part about doing all this was just getting it on film. So enjoy, subscribe, like, comment, share, and I'll see you in the next video, guys.